Today we will talk about measures of location. The basic idea is that given some sample data x1 through xn, we typically want to find a number that would provide us with uh, relative location of rest of the points in the data set. We will consider three main measures of location, the first being the sample mean, then we'll talk about percentiles and finally trimmed means. The sample mean, or also called the arithmetic mean, is defined as follows. Given the sample data, it's going to be the sum of all the sample values divided by the sample size. As I mentioned earlier, it's sometimes also called the arithmetic average or the arithmetic mean. So it's important to note that the true mean for the population is denoted by mu and to calculate mu you one needs to have a handle on the distribution of the population so we're going to get to this at a later point in the course what we do need to keep in mind is that mu is going to be a fixed number and it's usually unknown and we want to use the sample mean to estimate the population mean mu okay so this might not always be a good idea and that is something that we address next. To understand the applicability of the mean or the sample mean, we have to understand what the properties of the mean are. So uh, it's, a, it's going to be a good measure of location if the data is symmetric and unimodal. So both of these conditions are important as we will see in the next uh, picture. Note that in the first picture, the data is symmetric and unimodal, and as a result, it's evenly distributed around the mean, which lies in the middle. Whereas in the second picture, even though it is symmetric, we have it's a bimodal data, and you notice that the mean lies in the middle, but the data is really concentrated at alpha and beta. As a result, in the first case, we notice that the mean is a good measure of location, Whereas on the picture, for the picture on the right, the mean does not end up being a good measure of location for uh, the data uh, at hand. The next consideration to keep in mind is that the sample mean is sensitive to individual data points and outliers. That is, if any one of the individual data points is changed, the mean is going to change. Also, if there are outliers in the data set, the mean is going to be pulled in the direction uh, of the outlying points. We'll talk more about outliers in a later video, but for now, uh, we will finish the section on mean by noting that it is not a good measure of location when the data has outliers. We next talk about percentiles. Uh, let P be a number between zero and one, then the 100 times pth percentile for the sample data x1 through x10 is a number obtained from the sample such that 100 times p percent of the data is less than uh, this number which we call the 100 times pth percentile. There are some important percentiles the first one that we will talk about is called the median, which is the 50th percentile. There is a formula to calculate the sample median. Uh, if we are given a sample x1 through xn, the sample median is calculated by first ordering the data set in increasing order. And then, depending on whether the number of uh, elements in the, inside the data are odd or even, you would either look at the n plus 1 divided by 2th uh, ordered value, if n is odd. And if n is even, we take the average of the middle two values. That is, the n divided by 2 plus n divided by 2 plus 1th ordered values. Finally, we note that the true population median is denoted by the symbol mu with a tilde on top of it. We also note that uh, the sample median will often be a choice uh, to estimate the
the population median. So if the sample median required us to look at the midpoint in the data set, the quartiles are going to uh, divide the data set into four parts and uh, each of the dividers are going to be called quartiles. So the first quartile is our 25th percentile, the second quartile is going to be the 50th percentile, which is the median, and the third quartile is the 75th percentile in the data set. Note that uh, the median is in fact Q3, the third quartile. The quartiles are robust to minor changes in data values. They are in fact robust to outliers. Uh, if uh, there are outliers in the data set, they might not affect the quartiles as much as they affect the mean. And finally, while they are robust, they do have poor arithmetic properties. So to take care of this problem where the idea of trimmed mean comes into play where we combine the benefits of the nice properties of the mean with the robustness of the uh, percentiles. For any number k between 0 and 50, the k percent trimmed mean uh, denoted by x bar subscript k is exactly the average of the data values between the kth percentile and the 100 minus kth percentile. Note that the sample mean is exactly attained when k equals 0, whereas the sample median is attained when k equals 50. And depending on the value of k, we can choose how much of the outlying data we'd like to ignore when calculating our trimmed mean. Uh, this is all for now. Take care of yourselves and I will see you around. Have a good day.